lost about a couple weeks to fall apart due to lack of good management. Doesn't really have a chance. The team's not that hot either. The standard for the Plan B video has got to be higher than any video that's ever been done in skateboarding. Will it have the soul that the original Plan B videos did? Will it have that spirit and that impact, that shock value? I don't know if it can. I don't even know if it's possible. But maybe. How do you approach the new Plan B video, you know what I mean? There's all these other videos, obviously there's all this talk, everywhere we go, when's the video coming out, what's it called, oh the video's called this, people are telling us what the video's called. It can't just be a video. Their parts have to top their last parts, which are amazing, and it needs to fit in with Plan B videos of the past, so it's a lot to live up to. <laughs> been a lot of little things in the past years so it's good to kind of like go all in on like an actual like video part. This is really the first major major project. If it's a big production like this it's got to be amazing. In the 2000s the skateboard videos I think production of them became just as important as the skating. Nobody does tricks anymore without a filmer there. Everything is documented. Everything. All the information's immediate. The level of skating across the board is so high. How do you make it something special and something important? How do you make it have some sort of staying power or longevity and make it different? It takes coming up with tricks that nobody's done at a different place. You know, if it's at the same place, it's gotta be a better trick. You just basically have to have a video that stands out from what was the last big thing. Coming in. They're filming a video part every time they go out on the weekend to a contest. Now you gotta go out and do it in the street. Now you gotta go out and do it on a level that like is way above and beyond that. So it's gotta be tough. It's gotta be real it's gotta be really hard. But I think that this is the crew to do it. They're just so self-motivated, man. Like if we're together, great, we'll all do the, do our thing and go somewhere and film. And if they're on their own, like everyone has their own program that they're on. You just know that everyone's handling business wherever they are. No one puts the pressure on each guy, like, hey, you gotta do this in order to live up to Plan B excellence. It just goes without saying. They don't ask you to ride for Plan B unless they can already recognize that you already demand excellence of yourself. I don't feel like a freshman, you know, I'm just gonna do my own thing, but. You know, like, skateboard is skateboard. I mean, I think it being a Plan B video, like, really motivates me to, to go out there and just, you know, do what I do, skate. I just think because it's a Plan B video, it's extra motivating to be a part of, because you want to do it. You know, I'm psyched to skate with those guys and be working on a huge video. It's going to be a part of history. And... Making a video part is, to me, the like essentials of skateboarding. I look at it as something that kind of not needs to be done, but mentally I want to do that. I gauge my success by me personally feeling that my latest part is better than my last part, you know? Nobody wants me to have a better video part than last time more than I want me to.
everyone's doing their part. Like I heard, you know, Paul turned in a minute of footage the other day, and Ryan's been going out every every day, and McKay's been getting stuff on the ramp, and Danny's with his crazy ass new super mega craziness out in Hawaii. Like we got a video to do, so that will definitely spark you. Some days are, okay, I have a specific trick that I want to film. I need to be ready to land this trick and right away if the opportunity presents itself. It's going down today and get myself in a certain space. Yeah, Danny, that's clean. Mike was always like, to me, he definitely installed a lot of stuff in me that's permanently in me. When I'm really pushing myself sometimes, I have to remember and like how, you know, I really will like bring him up in my head and remember certain things he used to say to me and, and so that's, you know, sometimes how I get shit done. I'm sure with age, Danny doesn't want to fade out quietly. It's like me taking photos. I still have to go shoot photos because I kind of prove it to myself that I can still shoot a good skate photo. So I think that's the way it is with skaters as they get older. Someone right now is like walking. They have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> with the history or the legacy of our prior videos and being questionable, our first video, you know, we haven't had a full length video with our team. And I think our team is a team that would mirror the team we had originally when we launched Plan B, but in a modern day way. I might be crazy, but I think that we do have the formula to make a video that should be historical like the original Plan B video was. I just hope that we do them justice with the new generation of Plan B as they did, you know, building the original legacy. So that's why I'm proud to be a part of Plan B because it's, it's literally skateboarding history. Oh my God. Oh my God. 